Albania has made progress on reform, but must do more to diminish corruption, continue with the reform of its judicial system, including the enforcement of court decision and ensuring the separation of powers in a democratic society. These were some of the key points of a resolution approved by the European Parliament this week. The vote in Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee backs Albania's bid for the liberalization of visas for travel in European states. Members of the European Parliament acknowledged Albania's progress on reform, but they also underlined the need for further substantial efforts to consolidate democracy and the rule of law to foster the country's sustainable development, including a reform of the judicial system and the fight against corruption, which is still a prevailing problem. Despite all its domestic problems, Albania is on the right path. The EU must not leave the country on its own, but needs to send a clear signal to strengthen the reform process, said Doris Pack, responsible in the EPP group for the resolution on Albania. I think it describes um, the realistic situation in Albania, the lacks which are still existing, but it uh, prizes also the things which have been really reached in the last years. And uh, for example, they have they all have now identity cards, what never existed before. The last election was a good one, the best one. I have seen them all, so I can say it was the best one. Still there are problems, but uh, everybody has accepted this election in 2009, inclusive the socialist commissioners in the polling stations, as, as a normal good election. Edward Kukan, EPP Group Chairman of the Delegation for Relations with Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro and Kosovo, welcomed the adoption of the resolution, which fully reflects the political thinking of the EPP Group and sends positive signals to Tirana to resolve their current political crisis in a European way. I think that the political scene, Albania, should welcome this resolution as the support for their future European road and at the same time it should be also taken as the uh, appeal to maintain the political dialogue in the country in a European way. The country is facing a serious political crisis after Mr. Rama's Socialist Party boycotted the newly elected parliament for almost a year. His demand for a recount of the vote was rejected by Prime Minister Berisha's government. Socialist members of the parliament finally took up their parliamentary seats after the European Union decided to get involved. The leaders of parliament's two largest groups, including EPP Group Chairman Joseph Dole, met Albania's Prime Minister Salih Berisha and opposition leader Edi Rama in May in Strasbourg and gave them three weeks to sort out their political differences over last year elections. The initiative was supported by the European Commission and Member State Foreign Ministers, but the time elapsed without a serious deal. Edward Kukan praised the initiative and the progress made, even if limited. We are glad that certain progress was achieved because uh, now I understand that the members of Parliament from the opposition are taking part in the work of Parliament, they are participating fully, which is a welcome progress, welcome change, but I think it is still necessary to strengthen the political dialogue, that it's a guarantee for the future permanent political stability. Analyzing the roots of the political problem in Albania, Mrs. Pak concluded that the government couldn't accept the demands of the opposition. This question of this um, difficulty in Albania is at least, uh, that is a one-man show. Uh, Mr. Rama, to name him, uh, uh, wanted to kick down this government with all means but after having lost the election, he should wait for the next election. And if he wants to change some, some the, the electoral law, the government has nothing against, because this law was done by a high majority of the DP and the SP two years ago against Mr. Meta, who is now in the coalition. The resolution adopted also calls for a solution to the current political stalemate following the parliamentary elections of June 2009. 
It notes that fully functioning institutions, especially the parliament, are the backbone of a consolidated democratic system and an important political criterion for EU integration. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.